Text in your video is a great way to increase attention or inform your audience. And when you can use that text in unique or unexpected ways, it can have even more impact. So I'm gonna show you how to attach text to any surface. I'm Rain, let's get into it. With your clip in the timeline, right click and select new fusion clip. And with your playhead over that clip, go to the fusion page. Press shift spacebar, type planar tracker and click add. Draw a box around the portion of the clip that you want to track. In this example, leaving tracker set to point works best, but in some cases you'll want to switch it to hybrid point area. You may need to experiment to find out which settings work best for your clip. Move your playhead to the beginning of the clip and press the set button, and then click the track forward button and let it track. Drag in a text node and connect it to the green arrow on the tracker node. Now type the word you want to use in your video. Click planar tracker and change operation mode from track to corner pin. Now drag the corners of the box so it matches the perspective of the shot. Select the text and increase the size if needed. In many cases, this is all you need to do to recreate this effect. However, if you're trying to make the size of the font bigger and the edges get cut off, this is because we can only adjust our text within the boundaries of the corner pin box we created. Here's how to fix that. Switch the planar tracker operation mode back to track, then click create planar transform. This creates a new node that contains all the tracking data. Now drag an emerge node. Connect transform to the green arrow. Disconnect the text node from planar tracker and connect it to the planar transform. You can see the text has lost its perspective that we had before relative to the environment. So with the text node selected, press shift spacebar and add the corner positioner node. This is similar to the corner pinner we used before, except that the text is no longer restricted to the borders of the new perspective box we make. As I increase the size of the text, you can see it doesn't get cut off anymore. As an added bonus with this method, if you want your text to look like it's a part of the surface that you're tracking, you can go to the merge node and change apply to something like overlay. Now you can see the texture of the ground on the text layer. I love attention grabbing effects like this that are easy to pull off. And I've got a video right here with five more quick and easy effects. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next one.